John Buckley, Dean of Instruction, will now present the MACE. I declare open the 54th annual commencement of Delaware Technical Community College. Please remain standing and please silence your cell phones. This evening's ceremony begins with the singing of our national an anthem by Hannah Gary, who is a graduate of the Delaware Tech Visual Communications Program. The invocation by Chaplain William Guy will follow the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the I invite you to join me in a word of prayer. Most gracious and loving God, we rejoice today with our graduates. We rejoice over their endurance, their determination, and even their passion. They've completed another chapter in their life, and for that we are so grateful. We ask that during this ceremony that our graduates would be refreshed, rejuvenated, and motivated for the journey ahead. For many, it does not stop here, but this is just the beginning. We ask that you will give them eyes to see beyond where they are now and hope to believe in an amazing future. We ask that you will grace them to be fearless as they step out into their given field. We're thankful for the staff and leadership here at Dell Tech and ask that your blessings will continually be upon them. Now we also are thankful for the family, the friends, and all of those who have supported our graduates throughout the years. And we pray that they will continue to be a source of strength and encouragement as their loved ones move forward. Bless now in our time together and let this moment be an imprint upon our lives that we will never forget. We ask this in your blessed holy name. Amen. Please be seated. Good evening. My name is Cornelia Johnson, Vice President and Campus Director of the Terry Campus, and I'm honored to welcome each of you to our annual commencement ceremony. At this time, I'd like to introduce the leadership of Delaware Tech, including members of our Board of Trustees, and ask that you please stand as their names are called. We will hold applause until all are standing. First, from our Board of Trustees, Ms. Nancy Shavak, Chair of the Board, Ms. Diane Glenn, Mr. Michael Hare, and Mr. Robert Haggerty. Also on the dais are our president, Dr. Mark Brainerd, our vice president for academic affairs, Ms. Justina Sapp Thomas, our associate vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Lisa Peel, Vice President for Human Resources and Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion, Dr. Valencia Lenbidi, 
Terry Campus Administrators, Dean of Instruction, Mr. John Buckley, Assistant Dean of Instruction, Ms. Bonnie Sieben, Dean of Student Affairs, Dr. Carrie Harmon, Director of Workforce Development and Community Education, Ms. Kristen Yenser, Director of Human Resources, Ms. Mary Beth Roach, Director of Communication and Planning, Dr. Lisa Shusowski, our keynote speaker, Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester, Chaplain William Guy, President of the Board of the Terry Campus Alumni Association, Ms. Carol Young, Faculty Senate President, Ms. Kathleen Mahoney, Vice President of the Staff Senate, Ms. Michelle Ryder, and the Class of 2022 student speaker, Ms. Kimberly Agle. Please be seated. Other members of the, of the college's President's Council are also in the audience, and I would ask that they stand at this time. Thank you for your commitment and dedication to our students. Tonight, we celebrate the success of the graduating class of 2022, as well as graduates from the classes of 2020 and 2021, who have joined us this evening. We are incredibly proud of our graduates, a group with varied backgrounds, diverse goals, and inspirational stories. Let me share with you some interesting facts about the Terry Campus graduating class of 2022. This year, we are awarding 539 degrees and diplomas. There are six international graduates from six different countries. The average age of your class is 28.9. The youngest graduate is 19, and the oldest is 71. <laughs> 511, or 95% of your class, are Delaware residents. Eight of your classmates are graduating with multiple credentials. Seven will receive dual associate degrees, and one will receive an associate degree and diploma. 166 or 31 are graduating with honors and 35 have a perfect 4.0 cumulative grade point average. <laughs> 42 will receive the Bachelor of Science in Nursing and we have 19 veterans and service members graduating tonight. Let's give them all a great round of applause. Graduates, we know that each of you have worked hard to get this, to this impressive milestone, and we're incredibly proud of you. Despite the challenges that you have encountered along the way, especially over the past two years, you managed to overcome them all and to reach the finish line. And finally, today, you can celebrate. You now join the ranks of thousands of Delaware Tech graduates before you who have gone on to become our state's nurses, teachers, law enforcement officers, healthcare providers, business leaders, first responders, and more. We're looking forward to seeing where you go next, and we congratulate you on reaching this academic goal. At this time, I'm, I am honored to introduce our college president, Dr. Mark Brainerd, a proud graduate of Delaware Tech. Dr. Brainerd. Dr. Brainerd was appointed the college's fifth president in 2014. Prior to his current role, he spent more than three decades in executive level leadership roles in higher education, business, and state government in Delaware. Dr. Brainerd leads by example. He values people and he creates environments where creativity and collaboration can flourish. Most importantly, he is deeply committed to Delaware Tech and our students. At this time, please join me in welcoming our college president, Dr. Brainerd, to the podium. Thank you, Cornelia. I have some formal remarks, but first, I think we have to give a little bit more love to Hannah the Voice Gary. Yeah.
It's always a good day when you got an event starting off with Hannah's singing, so thank you. So congratulations, graduates. I'm sure there were times when you thought that you might not hear those words, but your day has arrived, and it's time to honor and celebrate your accomplishments. Now, we know this is an exciting moment for our class of 2022, but as you know, we're also joined tonight by graduates from the classes of 2020 and 2021, and we're thankful. We're thankful to also honor and celebrate those students who graduated over the past two years but never had the opportunity to walk across this stage. So again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Your hard work and determination has certainly paid off, and it's even more impressive that you achieved this milestone despite the incredible challenges of these past two years. As a fellow graduate of Delaware Tech, I still remember, believe it or not, that I, what it was like sitting out there where you are today, feeling proud and relieved, but also feeling a bit anxious about what was next, about what the future might hold, and whether or not I might be able to look forward to more successes like this. But there was one thing that I knew for sure, and that was I would have never have made it to graduation without all of the help, support, and encouragement from so many people in my life, from family to faculty. So let's take a few minutes to say thank you to some of those very special people who helped you along the way, and you're probably thinking about them right now. So first, let's thank your families, all the parents, spouses, children, siblings, and other loved ones here with you tonight, either in person or in spirit, who supported you when you needed it the most. Now let's thank another group of supporters, some of whom are almost excited as you are about this day. And I'm talking about the dedicated faculty and staff here at Delaware Tech who work hard every single day, helping our students achieve their goals. So please join me in thanking our faculty, counselors, and advisors. And please don't hesitate to thank them in person when you see them. You will rely on them into the future as well. A quick review of tonight's program shows that many of you not only reached this impressive milestone, but you excelled academically during your time here. At Delaware Tech, we recognize the various levels of academic distinction based on the cumulative grade point average of our students. At this time, we'd like to recognize those members of the class who are graduating with academic honors. If you're wearing a white cord signifying that you're graduating cum laude with praise, having achieved a grade point average of 3.25 to 3.49, please stand at this time and be recognized. Thank you. Now with those of you wearing a silver cord, graduating magna cum laude with great honor, having achieved a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.79, please stand. Thank you. And those of you wearing a gold cord, graduating summa cum laude with highest honor, having achieved a grade point average of 3.8 to 4.0, please stand at this time and be recognized. Many of you are also graduating from national honor societies. Would, you, would those of you wearing the gold stole from Phi Theta Kappa, the National Honor Society for Community Colleges, or the blue stole from Alpha Beta Gamma, the Business Honor Society, please stand at this time. The final group of graduating students we would like to recognize are wearing red, white, and blue honor cords. These are our student veterans. At this time, I ask that anyone in the audience who has served 
or is currently serving in the United States Armed Forces to please stand and join our graduating veterans so we can recognize and thank you. In closing, we want to make sure that all of you know that this is just the beginning, and Delaware Tech has prepared you for everything and anything you want to accomplish. If you're sitting there, as I was years ago, asking yourself whether you can get that bachelor's degree or that new job, or maybe go to graduate school or medical school or even law school, the answer is yes. It's a resounding yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you should. Yes, you must because Delaware Tech has prepared you for everything and anything you want to accomplish. Thank you very much. Congratulations, enjoy, and help be healthy and safe. Thank you for those remarks, President Brainerd. It is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Kimberly Agle who will introduce our commencement speaker. Kimberly spent several years as a business owner before she decided to join the Army in 2018. As part of that obligation, she spent 18 months away from her family. When she returned to Delaware in 2020, she decided to, to enroll at Delaware Tech to continue her education and pursue and advance her career. I'm pleased to say that she is graduating tonight from our nursing program and we're proud <laughs> And we're proud to have her as a member of the class of 2022. Please help me welcome Kimberly to the podium. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for the introduction, Ms. Johnson. Okay. Every night at eight o'clock, I tuck my daughter into bed and we talk about her day and all her goals. In return, she asks the same of me and each night for the past year and a half, I have assured her that once I finish school, we can accomplish all the plans we've created and spoken into existence. Today, I am one step closer. Today, we are all one step closer. Mm -hmm. Choosing Delaware Tech was an easy decision. It provided a flexible option for someone with a family and working full time. I was familiar with the prestige of the nursing program and felt empowered that I could be successful in this program and that it would prepare me for the future. And I can say that has been the case. As during a recent job interview, I was so well prepared, that same day I was offered a position as a Nero ICU nurse. <laughs> My last two classes have definitely been a cha challenge, and you are 210, 211. <laughs> but my relentless determination to succeed and a reminder from my family that the race is not for the swift, but for those who endure to the end. That has helped me through. I'd like to say be persistent, persevere, and have grit. As for me and my daughter, closing out this part of my journey will only help to create the future we've talked about every night at 8 p.m. Thank you. And now, it's my privilege to introduce tonight's commencement speaker, Congresswoman Lisa Brunt Rochester. Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester represents Delaware in the U.S. House of Representatives and serves as an assistant whip for House leadership. A Wilmington native, Representative Blunt Rochester has dedicated her life to helping others. 
She began her career as a caseworker for then Congressman Tom Carper and went on to serve in the cabinets of two Delaware governors. She was Delaware's first female African-American Secretary of Labor. She was also Delaware's first African-American to serve as Deputy Secretary of Health and Social Services and as State Personnel Director. She was the CEO of the Metropolitan Wilmington Urban League, a public policy research think tank focused on the inclusion of people of color. In 2016, Representative Blunt Rochester made history yet again when she was the first woman and person of color to be elected to represent Delaware in Congress. There, she serves on the House Committee on Energy and Commerce and is a member of the bipartisan Heroin Task Force comprised of more than 100 members united with the common goal of tackling opioid addiction. As a member of the Congressional Progressive Caucus and a strong proponent of reforming our criminal justice system, she introduced first in nation legislation, the Clean Slate Act, sealing the federal records of former nonviolent offenders who remain crime free and have earned a second chance. This bill would provide new opportunities for Americans to earn a good paying job, pursue education and training, and rent or own a home. A graduate of Farley Dickinson University with a degree in international relations, Representative Blunt Rochester put herself through graduate school as a working mom, earning a master's degree in urban affairs and public policy from the University of Delaware. At this time, I will turn the podium over to Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. That was awesome. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, first of all, we got to give it up again for the brilliant, the entrepreneur, the neuro ICU nurse to be. Kimberly, you are, you are incredible. Wow. And, and I, I have to start off, it's interesting because sometimes you hear something and it's confirmation. And she started, she mentioned a, a, a line that I use often, which is that the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to the one that endures. You endured, you made it, you are here class of 2022. Yes, you did, you did that. I am just humbled and honored, and I have to start off by saying to the incredible, incomparable, impeccable, and he's looking like, who's she talking about? You, Mark Brainerd, to the president of Delaware Tech. Thank you so much for your leadership. To the chair of the board of trustees, Nancy Shavak, who I've known many, many years. To the board of trustees, the faculty, the staff, the distinguished guests, the family and friends. It is truly my honor to be here at your graduation celebration. It's a celebration, isn't it? I see balloons. I see beautiful hats. This is a celebration. And I also want to give a special shout out to the um, graduates from the other campuses. Just last week, Jason McCall in my office actually graduated from Dell Tech. And like many of you, he was working in a congressional job, working full time. He was doing community service and Jason even got engaged. He was busy. <laughs> Jason was busy. And then as I was driving around, I went to a, a, a farm earlier today and I was talking to another one of my staff, um, Morgan, who is our Kenton Sussex uh, coordinator, outreach coordinator, and she told me that she would not be where she is today if it had not been for Dell Tech. And that she was balancing being a mom, working, and that she had tried many different schools, but this was the place that gave her her chance. This is the place that allowed her to be who she is today. So for the alums in the audience, we say congratulations to you too. And I also have to say, because they're from Dell Tech, obviously I surround myself with the best. <laughs> yeah. 
But tonight, tonight is about the Terry campus. Tonight is Terry time. Can I hear it again? It's Terry time. What time is it? It's Terry time. So tonight we are going to celebrate you. And I just thought about two years ago, I actually was the commencement speaker, but I was virtual. So I didn't get to see the cool hats. I didn't get to see the, the, the magna cum laude's, the summa cum laude's, the thank you laude, I made it. I, I didn't get to see all of you. So today I am so excited to be here. And so much has changed in the world. And so much has changed for so many of us. New types of jobs, new industries created, new ways of communicating. We are living differently. We are thinking differently. It is a different and new time. But I can tell you while the world is changing, Dell Tech has responded and has prepared you not only for today, but for tomorrow. Now, this would not be a graduation ceremony. I know the, the president had you do a nice polite clap for your families and for your professors and teachers, but to the graduates, think about this. There would have been no Batman without Robin. There would have been no T'Challa, the Black Panther, without his sister Zuri, Shuri. There would have been no Snoop Dogg without Martha Stewart. Okay, maybe not that last one. But the bottom line is that nobody makes it to this place on their own. It takes the love and support and nurturing of family, friends, and coworkers. So graduates, if you can, I need you to stand on your feet and show your people some love. Show them you mean it. Say thank you. Throw some kisses. Wave some hands. Let them know you appreciate them. Yes, yes. That's the gratitude. You may be seated. Now, what we are witnessing here tonight, though, is incredible. So to all of you that are around the sides, look, I can hear the families yelling at each other. To all of you around the sides, behold the graduating class of 2022. Entrepreneurs, educators, nurses, accountants, hospitality managers and chefs, engineers, visual communication majors, homeland security managers, and those building autonomous or automation systems, which as the chair of the Bipartisan Future of Work Caucus, that gets me excited. And of course we have nurses. <laughs> Graduates, Dell Tech has prepared you like no other place could. Whether you came from a pathway in a high school, whether you had to balance work and family and military service, you represent all backgrounds, all sizes, shapes, colors. You represent the United States of America and we are so proud of you. Some of you will continue your education. Some will enter into your first time job and some will enter into a new job with a new spirit and a new purpose. Some of you came to Dell Tech because you wanted to learn and expand your horizons. Others came because you wanted self-fulfillment or to accomplish a dream. And some of y'all just came to get some more money in your pocket because you wanted to get some skills. But that's all right too. No matter what the reason, you will come away transformed. You are Dell Tech ready for the world. And as I said before, it is a new world. Jobs are changing. We now have telehealth. We now have telework, robotics, advanced manufacturing, to social media influencers. I mean, these people are making bank. I don't know how they're doing it, but people are making money being on social media. We interact differently. I can literally call my son on my watch and talk to him, or we can Zoom around the world. It's a different day. But we also are facing a time of urgency. Everything from making sure that we have social justice to making sure that we have health from a pandemic, that we have wealth and shared prosperity, and that we have a planet to even live on. Class of 2022, we need you now more than ever. More than ever. 
thank you, I got your back too. We need you now. And so as I thought about what I would say today, I thought about that 2020 commencement and I realized that we've learned so many lessons. And what I want you to do as you commence into this next chapter of your life is I hope you remember one word when you leave, when you hear me speak. And that word is impact. The impact that this place had on you and the impact that you will have on the world. Impact. Okay, so I'm gonna be like in the black church, I need you to say that with me. Impact. 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 That's what we wanna see. I will say, I'm, not, I'm just gonna spell it out. Impact. We want you to continue to be innovative and create new things. That's what this moment is about. People are figuring out things that they've never had to figure out before, like how to get through a pandemic. We want you to be innovative. There was a story on Sunday morning, uh, the, the TV show just this week about the can opener and the fact that the people were canning things like years before anybody knew what a can opener was. You might be on the precipice of creating something that nobody's ever seen. Stay innovative. I, M, stay motivated. Stay motivated. These are difficult times. And so you need to find out what works for you, what will keep you going. People ask me all the time, Lisa, you work in Washington, DC, how are you even still smiling? <laughs> I'm motivated. I'm motivated. I know my why. Why are you on this planet? Go back to that every time you start feeling weary, you start feeling sad. Stay motivated. That's important. Practical and practice, practice, practice. That's what your education is about. I hire a lot of people. As, as Kimberly said, I was the state personnel director. I was secretary of labor. I'm always hiring people. And I'm going to tell you one of the key things I look for is two things. One, I look for self-awareness. Do you know yourself? Do you understand your strengths and your weaknesses and where you need to grow? But the other thing I love, love, love is curiosity. Practice. When you get education and get more and more and more, and that doesn't mean that you have to get it formally, but constantly try to learn. As a matter of fact, um, I have to tell you, Victoria, who works for me, who's standing over there, I, I learned something new this past Friday. Harry Styles' album dropped. Harry's house, I never, heard, I never listened to Harry Styles before, but it's really good. Try new things and practice, practice, practice. Yeah, check out Harry's house. <laughs> Usually in a speech, everybody knows I'd be quoting Beyonce, so that might come. But practice. A, be adaptive and flexible. And also, A is so important that I also have to add the letter and the word aspirational. It was mentioned that someone in this audience is graduating at the age of 71. Wow. Hello. Hello, I see you. I say be aspirational because people are looking at you. Your children are looking at you. Your parents are looking at you. You don't know who you might ins inspire. For me, I remember when I decided to run for office, having never run for office in my entire life, over 50 years old, didn't have that kind of money, never been in a debate in my life. I was debating lawyers and people were making fun of me on social media. She looks like a deer in the headlights because I was a deer in the headlights. I was scared to death. But I did it. I kept moving forward. And so people may say to you, you can't do something because of your race, because of your gender, because you're from Sussex, because you're from Ken whatever. In the words of Beyonce, you must not know about me. <laughs> Be compassionate. And when I talk about compassion, many of you already are giving people. But be compassionate with yourself. This is a tough time. And people are weary. So I hope, I'm a big proponent of mental health, physical health, 
Uh, I, I, I listen to gospel music every morning when I get up. I put it on rotate. If it's take these shackles off my feet so I can dance, it's going to be a tough day. <laughs> but every day I do things to keep me, to keep me going. Make sure that you are compassionate, not just with others, but with yourself. What keeps you going? Is it prayer? Is it meditation? Is it walking? Is it exercising? Whatever it is, is it dancing? When I walk through the halls of Congress, I literally am listening to Beyonce, let's get in formation. That's what I'm listening to. Compassion. And then lastly, I think about be tenacious. Never, ever, ever give up. It was said before. As I close, I was reminded um, Sunday, uh, I, I was on the floor doing some yoga meditation, and, which I don't do a lot, but I was doing it that day. And it came to me, I don't even know why, but my grandmother for over 70 years, who was a nurse, she used to, um, Every Sunday, she would listen to her music, she would get dressed, she would go to this church called Bright Hope. And for those of you, many of us know, most, most Baptist churches are called things like Mount Carmel, Bethel, you know, Zion, E Zion Fair. But her church was called Bright Hope. And it really hit me because this past couple of years, have been very challenging for so many of us. I was one of the people that was trapped up in the gallery on the day of the insurrection. And I will never forget um, praying, praying and thinking that so many have made it through so much for us to be here. And many times I carry with me the scarf I carried on the day I was sworn in and made history and on that day up in that balcony. And it is actually um, a historical document that my sister found and we turned into a scarf. And it says, returns of qualified voters and reconstruction oath from 1867. The bottom of it has an X marked on it. It's the X of my great, great, great grandfather who was a slave. And I thought about, we've been through slavery. We've been through Jim Crow. We've seen women lock arms for the right to vote. This country is an amazing country. And so are we, and so are you. So in this moment, when it feels dark, we need bright hope. We don't just need hope, we need bright hope. We need bright hope. Graduates of 2022, you are our bright and shining hope. Shine on. Thank you so much, Congresswoman Blunt Rochester, for your inspirational remarks and support of the college. Now for the presentation of the candidates by Dean Buckley and conferring of degrees by Board of Trustee member, Mr. Michael Hare. At this time, members of the class of 2020, 2021, and 2022, please stand. Mr. Hare, I present to you the candidates for the degree of the Bachelor of Science, degree of Associates in Applied Science, Associate of Arts in Teaching degree, Associate of Science, and the candidates for the diploma. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. It's truly an honor to help you celebrate the years of hard work 
and the commitment that have brought you to this important milestone. On behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, I want to say that we are incredibly proud of all the graduates honored tonight, and we wish you all the best as you take the next steps in your journey. Our class of 2020 and 2021 graduates here tonight have already had their degrees conferred through our virtual ceremonies for those respective graduation years. So it is now time for me to confer the degrees for the great class of 2022. And now by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the great state of Delaware, I hereby confer upon these duly authenticated students the degree of Bachelor of Science, the degree of Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts in Teaching, Associate of Science, or the Diploma. Together with all these rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto, Delaware Tech graduates, you may now change your tassels from right to left. Congratulations to the class of 2022. For the degree in accounting, James Flood. <laughs> Heidi McClure. <laughs> Allison Pedigo. <laughs> Sophia Thompson. <laughs> Cheryl Webb. For the degree in Business Administration, George Curtis. <laughs> Stephanie Eastburn. Elmame Sion. Caitlin Smith. Prince Walker. For the degree in entrepreneurship, Alyssa Feaster, <laughs> Kayla Miller. For the degree in general business, Renee Eastburn, <laughs> Tyler Gibbons, <laughs> Rebecca Gordon. Jessica Luff. Aaron Martin. Catherine Martinez. Kayla Wiley. For the degree in legal studies, Tiffany Harvey. For the Legal Studies Certificate, Dawn Henry. David Kamenga. Reva Kali. Jeffrey Sliney. For the degree in Management, Beyonce Aponte. Kismet Ayers. 
Iris Dargan. Andrew Felton. Ivy Friedlander. For the degree in marketing, Carol Ann Harding. Antonio Sudler. Sandra Steele. For the degree in culinary arts, Alaja Bain. Thomas Dillon. Gina DeMeo. Amber Graham. Gabriel Gomez. Dayana Harmon. Anjanette Kraus. Evan Meinhold. Christian Mateus. Melina Quetel. Walt Sherlock. Afsatu Raj. Raji. Liam Shane. Lania Smith. Roberto Tejada. Samantha Wierney. For the degree in early care and education, birth to second grade, Michaela France. Alicia Green. Sarah Jones. Caitlin Seal. Nick Thompson. For the degree in early childhood development, April Bradford. Candace Dixon. For the degree in elementary education, Sarah Casoilo. Kayla Cathcart. Galia Cooper. Lauren D'Angelo. Madison Easter. Anjali Fabricus. Becca McDonald. Brooke Miller. Laisha Orozco. Patricia Rickroad. Ashley Ruff. Rachel Seal. Brianna Stoner. Laura Thomas. For degree in paraeducator, Adina Palmanka. For the degree in architectural engineering technology, Akila Evans. For degree in biomedical, Jennifer Uten. Isaiah Prophet. Degree in building automation systems, Ian Brass. Brandon Moore. For the Diploma in Refrigeration, Heating, and Air Conditioning Studies, Jacob Rodriguez. For the Degree in Construction Management Technology, Ryan Syverson. 
for the degree in Electrical and Commuter Engineering Technology, Tyler Sell. Jose Torres. For the degree in Electromechanical Engineering Technology, Khalil Pierce. For the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Tamika Cooper. Jennifer Mast. Krishna Padan, Pradhan. Catherine Rinaldi. Madeline Steiner. Jasmine Watson. For the associate degree in nursing, Marafat Adeleke. Kimberly Agle. Brittany Anderson. Kaylee Brackett. Maya Dawn Brown. Heather Calvert. Kyresha Car Carter. Lisa Chipola. Ebony Davis. Shania DeShields. Elizabeth France. Jada Gilbert. Jasmine Grimes. Kimberly Hambright. Markeisha Hitchens. Rebecca Hollinsworth. Nautica Holly. Dominique Johnson. Renee Kajomami. Chelsea Lively. Amy Markland. Tyra May. Casey McGinnis. Alexis Moore. Aspen Ozer. Andy Peterson. Lindsay Reese. Katie Rocco. Imani Henry. Kimberly Moore. Alande Choice. Brandy Rodney. Heidi Schaefer. Kiasia Skinner. Heather Stalins. Christy Henson. Andrew Stockhausen. Elizabeth Talia. Sydney Tuzio. <laughs> Natasha Williams. Danielle Wiley. Kira Wood. Degree in Biological Sciences. Sohail Anvari. For the degree in General Studies, Shatima Adams. Stevie Lynn Bell. Idnali Boromi. Linda Brown. 
Mackenzie Bolson. Kayla Butler. Jennifer Caldwell. Jacqueline Campbell. Bill Cannon. Shakita Collins. Veronica Cooper. Kiana Cummings. Taylor Erickson. Ashlyn Fowler. Marcus Frank. Kayla Gorowski. Serena Graham. Kalila Hanzer. Tasia Harris. Shantae Jackson. Imani Jones. Mirabella Klebart. Greg Makoski. Jessica Meekins. Aisha Patel. Emily Rose. Bianca Rucci. Kayla Secord. Michelle Subero. Candace Taylor. Dania Thomas. Jimmy Thompson. Brooklyn Trent. Angie Vasquez Lopez. Asher Wade. Kathy Weaver. A degree in medical assistant, Sharice Bailey. For the degree in surgical technology, Alexis Berzanski. Evelyn Bureta Rubio. It's uh, it's Zanya Baranza Cruz. <laughs> Johanna Marcos. Madison Rawhauser. <laughs> Kylie Kylie Rively. Monderley Monderley Simeon. For the degree in veterinary technology, Zachary Klinkenborg. <laughs> Helena Meinhold. For the degree in information technology and networking, Ionel Alvarez. Carlin Bunn. Antonio Fragali, Darren Joyner. Alexander Mena. Anastasia Winder. Joseph Opoku. A degree in communications technology, Jared Seibert. For the degree in criminal justice, Brian Dennis. Cordelia Messick. Jennifer Moran. 
Logan Simpers. Jacob Smith. For the degree in drug and alcohol counseling, Gina Atencia. Samantha Boraskas. Casey Bell. Samantha Collins. Michael Connor. Jean Steiner. Taylor Vass. Leslie Wallace. Hope York. For the degree in Homeland Security and Emergency Management, Crystal Connors. Jacques Deshomme. James Stanton. For the degree in Human Services, Angel Andrews. Michelle Abney. Mary Grace Bideman. Jacel Bellamy. Stephanie Benavides. Brianna Bowler. Selena Bowler. Jasmine Burden. <laughs> Harmony Caldwell. Carletta Cannon. Diamond Cartwright. Tori Como. Christine Driscoll. Michelle Estrada. Heather Fletcher. Genevieve Fuchs. Lakita Fulton. Alexa Gilpin. Makisha Gray. Jade Michael Hawk. Dawn Myers Jackson. Serena James. Samuel Cubico. Linda Zams. Kenneth Parker Jr. Keisha Phillips. Kaya Pierce. Emily Rodriguez. Elsa Smith. Gia Sukarati. Edward Thomas. Tanya Thornton. Isioma Youssef. For the degree in Advertising Design, Rixi Amaya. Amaya. Amanda, Amanda Baez. Danielle Blondrovich. China Christopher. Miss Hannah Gary. Maricela Garibay. Crystal Jackson. 
Monse Lardo. Hannah Palmer. Malaysia Reed. Dana Short. Cassidy Williamson. Nia Wills. For the degree in multimedia, Kimberly Gailey. Jordan Gerdes. Fabia Noriega. Joseph Rodman. Sarah Taylor. For the degree in photo imaging, Kylie Chafin. Logan Gassler. For the Diploma in Practical Nursing Studies, Karen Douglas. Jasmine Marshall. Joma Mbona. And now, to welcome you as members of the Alumni Association, the president of the board of the Terry Campus Alumni Association, Ms. Carol Young. Carol is a 1992 Terry Campus graduate with an associate degree in general business and banking. Congratulations to all of you. Um, will the graduates please stand? It, it gives me great pleasure to officially welcome you, the classes of 2020, 2021, and 2022, to the Alumni Association of Delaware Technical Community College. As members of the Alumni Association, you have full rights, privileges, and responsibilities to further the growth and development of Delaware Technical Community College. Welcome and congratulations. You. you can now sit down. <laughs> Congratulations, graduates. All of us at Delaware Tech hope that you will stay connected to the college and share your success stories with us and, and that your journey through life brings you the success, happiness, and respect that you deserve. Everyone, please stand for the benediction. Graduates, please remain standing after the benediction Audience, please be seated after the benediction and remain seated until the recessional is ended. Now, Lord, as our graduates move forward, we ask that you will strengthen them. We ask that your power will preserve them, that you would protect them and direct their way. May your love go with them this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>